Welcome to the channel Nermimic and today we are going to do a quick overview of how to play the gameplay for the game Arena for the Gods. It's published by Yellow. It's rated for two to six players, uh, eight plus, and lasts about half an hour. Before we get started, hopefully you can like and subscribe and that would help us out. Uh, so this is a great family weight game to get your uh, family or kids into board games or skirmish games and comes with standees, uh, no actual miniatures, so it keeps the price point low. It's about $25 nowadays, and with six different factions, and it'll get your kids a little bit more oriented into, say, Greek mythos or Norse mythos or Egyptian mythos, um, and I'll show you those cards in a bit. So let's get the box open. And of course, it's gonna come with a rule book. It's pretty short. It's about 16 pages. No, I'm sorry, 18 pages. Of course, it's gonna show the components here. The setup, we'll get to that later. How to play, of course. And then we'll have set scenarios you can arrange the pillars in and we're gonna do a playthrough and probably do the introduction uh scenario to get people oriented and it does have some variants in the back here so that'll mix it up and increase the replayability of the game uh, on the back table i want to show you this here so once again there's six factions you see the heroes. There's one hero for each faction. You can see they come with a unique card, but these actually get randomized, so you don't have to use your associated power. Um, and basically these cards are gonna be won through auction. All right, so let me close this up. We'll take out the game board here. side here okay you can see the other components here Emma I'm gonna ask you to set the towers the pillars is that okay to do so these will be spike pillars that if your players get pushed into they will get damaged these are different land tokens for life fountains or spike pits. So once again, we will set this up for the first player, first uh, easy difficulty scenario. So there's just gonna be one life fountain in the middle here. And a couple of spike pits on the side here. We'll set these other tokens away. This game does come with some shields. These are used to hide how many life tokens you have. Uh, I guess this would be actually my only real complaint of the game. These shields are quite small as you can see. So if I set it up, you can just really look around it. Okay, so we don't really use this. We'll just use some books that are a little bit bigger that are folded up. So we'll do that off screen. Okay. So we'll so I want dice. to use these things. You want to? Yeah, all right, all right. Cool. All right, no problem. And then we got a bull here that will hold the reservoir life tokens. So each player gets 20. So I need to count out four sets of 20, please. Wait, four? Yeah, for four players. For uh, heroes. Oh, yeah. So them all out. These are the standees for the heroes. So we'll take out four of them. So in two player game, we're going to have two heroes each. 
got the deck of cards. Take it out of the bag. I'll show you more of the cards in a bit. Let's get out the standees. These are the six heroes, each one associated once again with a, a world mythos. So simple. Usually when we play games of standees, we use our own miniatures, but for the demonstration of components of this board game, we'll use the actual standee. Do you know which one you want to use? You could pick two first. Okay, and another one. Hmm. Okay, the two girls, sure, yeah. no problem. I'll just pick these two one. random ones here. Wait, one. All right, well, let's set it up. There we go. Thank you for making the pillars, Emma. I will arrange them as per the map. So this goes here. And basically, the reason why this is the introductory, introductory um, scenario is this wall of spiked pillars makes the map smaller. So it lends to a faster gameplay. All right, so actually, there are two extra ones that we do not need. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. Let's take a quick look at the cards here. Um, there are four sets. These are, are gonna be the weapons. Once again, there are Weapons associated with the mythos, such as Thor's hammer, okay. Poseidon's trident, okay. But these will get randomized, okay. And then we have a deck of mounts, which will lend to movement. Gives you Quetzalcoatl. The Norse wolf, got a Pegasus there. So it's pretty cool to see all these different mythos mixed together and get your kids once again introduced to these. Then there's a set of armor. Once again, each one unique to the world mythos. And the last set of cards are spells. So you got Freda's uh, Blessing here, Seth's Fury. All right, so that's a quick look at the cards. Okay, thank you for getting the shields. So what we're gonna do here is do the weapons card first. So this is the first phase of the game where it's an auction. The second phase of the game is the actual skirmish battle. So basically you're gonna shuffle up the cards. You're gonna take cards equal to the number of players or heroes that is. So there are gonna be four heroes. So we're gonna take the four top cards here. We'll flip them over. Let's do it this way if you don't mind, since the cameras are associated this way. All right. And then, this way. now we're gonna bid on what you want. All right, let's see. So I need to get the shield for my characters, or I'll just, which characters do I have there, Anna. Okay. Alright, so basically by bidding, you're gonna take some 
life points here. Once again, we got 20 for each hero. And we're gonna grab a, several, or maybe even zero, put them closed fist, and we'll reveal it at the same time. And that denotes who goes first to pick what card you want. Um, this lends to some strategy because if you, well, for example, if I took 10 here, then I will only have actually 10 life points left to do the battle. So I'll have less health, um, even though I get maybe my uh, best choice for weapon. Um, but don't forget, there are four sets of cards we gotta bid through. So you have to bid wisely. So that, once again, this is the auction phase. So let me take a look at the cards here. We got one, <laughs> hold on, thank you. One that uh, can uh, attack and push the adjacent hero. Uh, this one can give uh, damage to adjacent hero uh, by chain linking some damage. This, if you roll these dice, you get a bonus move and deal some damage. And this one is uh, deal two damage to adjacent hero and two to the hero's adjacent to him except you. All right, so I think I know which one I want. Um, and I'm gonna grab this amount. Okay, you ready? All right. Yeah. I won. So we gotta, so both players have to dump their uh, spent life points you into the- I do pick first. So I do want to take this one, okay? Okay. All right. So I am going to link it with this hero, I suppose. Oops. You got the one. You got all the ones I didn't want. That's <laughs> okay. No, right. you got the ones. You didn't, you didn't get the one I wanted. All right. And then you will take that last card, right? Yeah. All right. The next set of cards we need to go through are the mounts. So I'll just give this a quick shuffle. I will flip out four. All right. Let's see, we have one that can push an adjacent hero, choose an adjacent hero, move one space, move Chosen here to the space left. Move one space and reroll one time. So that's pretty good. This is to move three spaces. All right. So we pick how many life points we want to risk. And let's see. You ready to go? All right, I did nothing. So you put the four here oh. in the well. Okay, and you pick which card you want. Yeah, that is a pretty good one, fast speed. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try this one for re-roll. And I'm gonna link it with this, okay, this guy. Okay, I this one then. Okay, and we'll take the last one. Okay. The next uh, deck of cards is the armor. So like this, uh, a quick shuffle. Take the first four cards out. This says, move yourself to any valid space, piss adjacent heroes, gain a shield, and activate your weapon. All right. Okay, ready? Okay, so, okay, I'll bit this much. I think I saw something. <laughs> it's okay. I only saw something red. It's all right. Yes, I do pick first. Thank you. Um, well, I, I think having 
a shield would be helpful. So I will place it with this character, I guess. This one? Mm -hmm. And uh, Helm of Invisibility. So we'll get the most movement there. Next. Next is going to be the spell cards. Give it a quick shuffle. Flip it over. Four cards. This is the switcher position within hero. Okay. Deal one damage to all other heroes, gain one life. That's pretty helpful. Look at the health of the hero of your choice. All right, so I think there's something I see I really, really like. So I'm going to try this. All right. Oh, let's see. If you have five, yeah. I have six. <laughs> All right, so I am, Wait, what I yes, right, here, that's right. Here. So I am gonna go. Oh, which one did you take? Deal yeah, one damage to all other hands. Okay, all right, that is a good one. And I'm gonna get the switch yes, 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 illusion. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so you got what you wanted, anyways, right? I got both of them, but I want. Cool. All right. Okay. So we have our associated uh, heroes, and here are your two heroes. And you know, maybe wait, wait. Since I we're, didn't, I didn't. we'll rotate this map around, okay? So it's this way. That way, we can play closer to the cards, okay? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So the person that won the last auction. Um, what, gets to place their hero for what we just did. Oh. So I get to place my first hero, and you have to place it off screen here. So I will just start here. Okay, you guys place your hero next. Okay, one hero? Mm hmm, one hero. This one. Yeah. Mm hmm Which one? Oh, this one's mine. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, this is my CMD. Alright, so this here. Oh, it has to be on this side of the oh. Yeah. Okay. And then I go next, and I'll just, of course, Put them next to this one. All right. So um, we take out the dice here. There are seven dice, and basically we're gonna roll them. And each dice has a icon. This is for spell, movement, shield. Damage, and that's it. I think there are two shields. No, sorry, there are two movements. Okay, all right. So let's roll them up. And this is going to be for my first hero, which is going to be this girl. And basically, I could match the dice with the card to enact a power there. Or I could take two dice that are the same and do the actual action. So I could do, say, one damage here, one spell, one block. However, what I really need to do is move. Now, at melee, this is melee damage, so there's damage to people adjacent to me, but they're across there. Now, spell has no range, just needs line of sight. So I can actually shoot it. A fire a spell off if I could. Um, so maybe I will. Um, the other thing is, once again, you have one reroll. 
<laughs> so if there's something I don't like, I could actually do one reroll. Um, and maybe I'll do one reroll with this. Mm, or actually these. Let me see if they get a movement. Right, I did. I got lucky there. All right. So I will. I will take this hero. And I will move a little closer. Um, and then I will do one spell damage there. Okay? Okay. All right, so you want to put one life point away? From From, this, from her. This I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, her. That is her picture. This was her stand. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the other thing we actually forgot to do for Seth is since there's a life fountain, we put five light points here, and anyone that runs up to it can get a life point. And you can only do one at a time. You have to exit the uh, fountain, then go back in if you want to get another life point. All right, so that was my round for this hero. All right, your turn. Mm. So let's go with a, uh, which hero you want to use? Then we have to do the same order again. I think you put this hero down first, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so why don't you use that hero, please? There's no heroes adjacent to you. Okay. Wait, wait. Do I have to use both dice? Yeah. Um, to do the power, yes. Oh. Yeah, you have to place both dice and they can use the actions on the card, whether it's one action or all of the actions. Move one space again. But to use the card, you have to have both dice on it. Okay. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. And All then right. I'm gonna reroll. Reroll all three or keep the damage there? Reroll all of them. Okay, go ahead. Move three spaces. All right. So the people can't see that. Let's move this a little bit. Oh, sorry. Can I move this over yeah. here a little bit? That way, the people on camera can see what cards you're using there. Okay. Move three spaces. One. Two, three. Okay, yeah. You can do it that way. You can land in there, pick up life token. Excellent. Well done. All right. If you don't mind, I'll take all the dice back. Okay. All right. I got a lot of damage and I got some movement. And actually, so. But this is going to be for this character. So I need to move twice to get there. Um, that is for this character with this set of cards. Come on, maybe shift move, switch your position with any other hero. Let's see here. 
I'm gonna get another movement if I can. So let's see if I can re-roll these two dice. Okay. All right, now I have one shield I could put here to move one space and re-roll again. So I'm gonna re-roll this spell and I guess a shield, uh, a sword. So I'm gonna put this and save that there. And I'm gonna use these two dice to move again, right? So that's my action there for these dice. And now I am adjacent to you, right? Okay. So I'm gonna deal one damage to you. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. And then I'm gonna use this card to push you off the, the, Life Fountain, okay? All right. And I could reroll one time, but I don't think there's anything I actually want to do, so I could pass on that. That way, when I push you off, I can go there, hopefully, in the future. Uh, did you take one life point away? Okay. It's going for this character, unfortunately. All right. Now we're gonna give you that axe. Now it's gonna be for your angel character. Angel guy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. Hey, wanna line up your cards here, please? Sorry. Okay. Be... Let's see. All right. Deal one damage to all other heroes. Does that mean all of them? Um, yeah. Like me too? I think so, if it's like a crazy lightning strike. You Which, too, you too. Yeah. Oh, that's one? That you yeah. did that card? All right, so one damage to all heroes? Yes. All right, so one health away from me, one health away from this character. So that's good. Mm. Special movement, huh? Move one space. Push an adjacent hero. Well, you could actually push you back in there. <laughs> that is helpful. What's a joy? Well, that's a good combo. Mm. Right. That's it. Yeah. All right, that's a pretty good. Uh, or I could do the same one with this one again. Uh, I don't think that's allowed, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, you exhausted okay. that card. All right. So that was a good round for you. Now I have to go back to hero number one. All right. So let's see. For my cards, push it just down. I want to be able to move around you somehow. Yeah. I get more motion. So here's a spell card. So this can at least do one damage. I'm going to reroll these four. All right, so I do get at least one movement. Switch position with another hero. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna do is switch position with another hero. So I'm gonna switch position with you. So I will be on the life fountain now. Okay, so I will take one life fountain point. Add to my pool. My turn? Uh, not yet. So I have another movement. And now I will move 
off of it and try to go this way. Maybe I could get around or surround you there. My turn? Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna okay. do a spell. Okay. Yeah, and I am gonna unfortunately use it to damage her. How many? It's just one damage. Okay, yes. Here we go. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> move one space and deal one damage to adjacent heroes. Let's see, move one space and deal one damage to adjacent heroes. That is a great play. So they both lose. Yes. Uh -huh. So that was my folly trying to surround you, but I was just getting closer to you so you could do your whirlwind attack there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, what else? Okay. I'm gonna reroll everything. Reroll everything. Oh, you could do a melee attack. Two melee attacks. Okay, I'm gonna do two melee attacks. On the this one. Um, that character, right? Yeah, that. So that's her, so two damage away. You know, I okay. I think I mixed mixed it up. I I um. Uh, Use the cards for this guy. That is my fault. When I did my action, uh, all right, that is my fault. All right, but either way, we'll continue. All right, good round for you. Okay, I'm gonna roll. So now it's actually for this character. So apologies. For Emma. So let's see. Um, I could switch positions again with another character. Oh, I don't want to maybe move. And then attack. Spell. Okay. So I'm going to. This is what I'm going to do, Emma. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do is move. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to move him into the life well and take a life token. Next thing I'm gonna do is take a sword and activate this card, push adjacent hero. So I am gonna push you into the, the spikes here. Okay. So that means you get one damage, unfortunately. One damage. Who? Um, her. And I get a reroll one time. Well, but uh, I'm gonna pass on that. I'm just gonna use a spell attack, yeah, well, and yeah, I will yeah. shoot a spell, uh, maybe at this character. Okay. All right. Okay, and that is my turn. My turn. Mhm. Mm so now it's gonna be for your this angel should... character, yes. Oh, because you're using that power? Yeah. Okay. I'll put the dice there. Nice. Wait, actually. Yeah. Wait, actually. But that's okay. There's one life token left. Wait, uh, to push this guy to here. Um, I don't know if you could. Yes, I guess you can push, push that any direction, huh? Okay. All right. Well, uh, I don't think I actually land on here, but I, I get one damage. Too? Uh, uh, Emma, I, I don't think I should go on top of it, but I, I just get one damage. Okay. Okay. Um, and that's for this character to go. Deal two damage 
to an adjacent hero and two to the heroes adjacent to him. So he gets two damage. Which one are you doing again? This one. Yeah. Deal two damage to an adjacent hero. And two to the heroes adjacent to him. Yes. Does this mean they get two damage too? Yes. That's pretty good. So they both get two damage. Am I winning? <laughs> I don't know. That's why we have the shields. All right. But you're doing very well. Okay. So I will roll. And now it's going to be for her using this set of cards. Um, let's see. Got a lot of movement. Maybe I don't want to be trapped with so many spikes. I actually maybe want to heal up with a shield. Move with an adjacent hill. Maybe one space. So I'm going to use one movement to move an adjacent hero. That would be you. I'm going to move this character. Actually, let me move her. In. I'm going to move you here. Okay, Emma? Okay. So don't chop you there. I can move one space. Oh, sorry. You know what? You know, maybe I'm gonna move my own hero off the life source. I will move my space and end up on the well and take the last life token. Move the chosen hero to the space you left. Wow. So I'm going to move this hero to the space up. There you go. All right, so that works out for me. Um, and then I'm going to re-roll. Let's see, I'm going to re-roll all of these. I got a lot of shields, I got damage, so I got a melee damage. So I'm going to use this to melee damage uh, hurt. Emma, this one, this character, yeah. one damage, please. Okay. And I am going to use two shield here to gain an essence for blocking. So take out a token for that. So she could use this for block my damage in the future. And then that is it. Alright. Now your turn. Emma. The angel? Wait, this wait, which one? Um let's see. I just used her and she was the first character, so I think it's I think it's her. This character. Okay. What are you thinking? Look at the help of a hero of your choice. I want to see. Okay. Look at the help of a hero of your choice. Okay. Which hero are you going? That this one? Okay. <laughs> oh, you, you, I think uh, that's bad news for me. You know, you're going to concentrate attacks on this character, huh? Okay. Yeah. What else are you going to do? 
move one space and deal one damage to adjacent heroes. All right. That's always a powerful Wait, do attack. do I have to move? Um, you don't have to move. It's up to you. Okay, I don't want to move. Deal damage to adjacent heroes. That means okay. all of them. This means this one and this one. All right. So, basically both of my characters, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reroll okay. this one. Okay. Your turn. Okay, so you're gonna pass on these dice, right? Okay. Okay. So I am using this guy, right? Yeah. And he is here. Pitch to Jason Hero. Hmm. Move one space. And then this will deal damage, and I will reroll these two. I think that's just movement. Okay, but so the, my first action is to push a hero. So push a hero. Yeah, so I'm going to push her into the spikes. So mm -hmm. she gets one damage, unfortunately. I get a reroll one time, so I'm gonna reroll these. Yeah, okay, so I got lucky here. So I'm gonna do one melee damage and one spell damage to her. So two more points of damage to her. Too bad. You still have health for her? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, now it's your turn. I don't know how much I don't know how much health though. Mm, let's see. There's no more health in here? No, it's all drained. Okay. Let me see. Mm -hmm. That's oh wait, I forgot the only card. Wait, do you lose? Do you lose if one of your heroes run out of health? Oh no, you could keep on going. It's just one hero's down. It, but they both have health right now, correct? Oh. Okay. Two of this damn regular damage. Okay. To this one. To her? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Okay. And then I'm gonna reroll the rest of these. Ooh, yes. One more damage to do. Yeah, okay, I thought so. Um, oh, here. Do you have two damage to an adjacent hero? <laughs> okay, two damage? Mm -hmm. My goodness. Okay, I'm in big danger. I'm still alive though. I'm not knocked two out Two damage yet. and two damage to the heroes adjacent to that one. So this one and this one. So this one has... 
two, minus two, and then that one has minus two, two. Yes. That is a wacky uh, weapon. And then now it's your turn. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, and uh, I think I'm moving her now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want to gain health. And I still have one shield. I'm going to use this um, essence and gain a life point, okay? Okay. Right there. So I gain one health for that. Um, I will do that damage and I want to see if I get a spell. No, no spell icon, unfortunately, so I cannot use it to get a life token there. So there's two damage. And I could get another block. Okay, so I'm gonna get a block here. Two, and I'm gonna do two, two damage. To who? To her. Oh, she's still in the game? Yeah. Oh, wow. She has a lot of health. Okay. All right, your turn. Okay. Let me go. Roll the dice. Yes. Oops. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this one of her life or something? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna here move one space. I'm not gonna move one space. Okay. I'm just gonna do one damage to adjacent heroes. All of them. All of them. Well, that's true. That would be one from here and one from here. Um, um I'm gonna we roll them out. Okay, I'm gonna do one. I'm gonna I'm gonna use these two to look at this guy. <laughs> okay. Oops. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna use these two to to to, to do one damage to this one. All right. You knocked her out. This essence, I had to wait for my turn to convert to health, but no more health. So she is knocked out. Oh. All right. Pity. <laughs> okay. And that is it for your action. Mm hmm. Okay. So let me. Can you give me your dice, please? I can. Thank you. see here. So I'm here. You're next to the spike. So I can push and I can do melee damage. Let's uh let's do all of these. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, Emma, is mm -hmm. use this card and push it adjacent hero. So I am gonna push her into this spike ball again. So Not she gets one damage. Again. Yep. And I could re-roll one time, so I'm gonna 
remove all, all these. Okay, there, that's good. So I'm gonna do two melee damage to her. Two? Two, yes. Oh, she's not knocked out yet? No. My gosh. All right, it is your turn. For the angel? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna roll the dice. Two damage to the adjacent tail of this guy, and then and then two damage to the hairs adjacent to him. So daddy, okay. this guy gets two damage, and this guy also gets two damage. Right. <laughs> Your hair was knocked out first. Okay, and then I guess it's uh, worth it. That's true. And then you get two more damage. <laughs> oh, wow. Very clever. All right. And I'm still alive. Did I already reroll? Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> Wait, I don't. Yeah, I didn't read. Okay. Because I didn't close it. No. Okay. Your turn. All right. That's a good round for you. Yeah, thank you. The table over there. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. So um, she's knocked out, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll place her down. Now, sometimes when it's just two pairs to the left, you're just gonna stand face to face. Face to face. Let's see. So I am gonna actually get a shield here. You're gonna get a shield? Yeah, so that would be this token here. Place here, so I get any damage I get, I'll actually block it. Nice stuff. I can do a damage attack here. And here's could be, let's see, pushing her would not do anything right. Now, all right, so let's maybe re roll. Okay, I used shield already and use attack, so I'll just re roll these, see what I get. Shield, all right, so I'm gonna throw my shield. And you get one damage. One damage. One damage. Okay. Hey, Daddy. Daddy. Yes. She's still alive. Okay. So, I think... Let me just refresh my memory about these rules. Oh, I'm sorry. The shield is to push a Jason Harrow. All right. Now... Because I think one of these tokens are actually not for shields, for exhaustion, but you use one less dice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but we don't have any powers that use that, one so dice. I am mistaken. So I actually don't have any shield, it's just push. But there was nowhere to really push you into one. No All right, uh, my mistake is your you. game. Your turn. My turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Well, let's put your cards a little bit here so people can see your cards. <laughs> okay.
Two damage. You knocked me out. Did I win? You did. Congratulations. Boom. All right. Hooray! <laughs> well done. I think my mistake was staying too close here. I should have moved more to the middle. And uh, this weapon you picked uh, definitely worked out better for you. How sad. How <laughs> sad. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy that. Uh, and hopefully you have a good night. Thank you. You want to say bye? Bye.